This lesson will discuss how to add and subtract polynomials. In the first example, Nigel and Petra are hosting a dinner for 300 guests. The banquet hall has quoted these charges. So first of all, there's a $500 fixed charge, and then $10, $10 per person for the food. And then for the drinks, there's a $200 fixed charge, $20 per person. And as long as there's more than 200 guests, there's a $5 per person discount. Now, Nigel and Petra have created two different functions for the total cost. In these formulas, n will represent the number of guests. Now, Nigel's cost function, he's grouped, first of all, the $500 plus $10 per person. So that's $10 per person plus the $500. And then he's gone to the drinks, so the $200 plus the $20 per person. And then he's handled at the end, he's taken off the discount, $5 per person, so minus $5 times the number of people. Petra has grouped things differently. She's done all the variable costs, the $10 per person, the $20 per person, and then the $5 per person discount, so 10n plus 20n minus 5n. And she's added the two fixed costs, 500 and 200, together at the end here. And the question is, are Nigel's and Petra's functions equivalent? So, we'll start with Nigel's cost function, and this just copied down exactly as it was above. Now, since we're adding these polynomials, we'll just remove the brackets here, and we'll, we'll not forget the minus 5n at the end. So 10n plus 500 is still 10n plus 500. 20n plus 200 is still 20n plus 200. If we add the 10n and 20n, that's 30n, minus 5n will be 25n and 500 and 200 add to 700. So Nigel's cost function simplifies to 25n plus 700. Now let's take a look at Petra's. And since we're adding these polynomials, we'll remove the brackets, and all five terms will keep their identical signs. 10n and 20n is 30n, minus 5n again is 25n, and of course the 500 and 200 add to 700. So simplifying the two expressions, we get exactly the same functions, 25n plus 700. So Nigel's, Nigel's and Petra's functions are exactly equivalent. Remember, equivalent here means that they are exactly the same. Flipping over to the example on the second page, there's two here. And the first one we're asked to simplify and we're adding these two polynomials together. Now when we're adding, we'll just remove the brackets. This polynomial will stay exactly the same. And we're adding x squared plus 3x minus 8, so plus x squared plus 3x minus 8. And we'll collect the like terms. 4x squared and 1x squared would be 5x squared. Negative 2x plus 3x is 1x. And 5 take away 8 is minus 3. So that 5x squared plus x minus 3 is what this polynomial sum simplifies to. In the second example here, b, in example 2, well, we're subtracting these, this polynomial and this one. So um, we, have a, we don't see any negative here. So 2ab minus 5bc plus ac will stay exactly the same. And so we're subtracting this polynomial. So when you remove the brackets, it's like there's a negative 1 here. And the negative 1 multiplies by all the terms, so that's why all the signs change. 6ab becomes minus 6ab, plus 3ac becomes minus 3ac, and minus 7bc becomes plus 7bc. And now we collect the like terms. 2ab minus 6ab will be negative 4ab. Negative 5bc plus 7bc would be 2bc, and ac minus 3ac becomes minus 2ac. So that's the polynomial difference. In the last example, we're asked to show that these two expressions are not equivalent. Now this one cannot be simplified, but the second one can. So I'm going to start with this second one here. And I'll start by removing the brackets here. Remember this minus before the 2xy minus 3x squared minus y squared will change all these signs. So this becomes minus 2xy, this becomes plus 3x squared, and minus y squared becomes plus y squared. And we'll collect the like terms. 
3xy minus 2xy is xy, so we do get exactly the same term as here. Negative x squared plus 3x squared is 2x squared. So notice it's the opposite sign from this. So writing down those two terms, the y squared stays the y squared, and that's okay. But we have a different coefficient. We have a negative 2x squared here and a plus 2x squared here. So that's why they're not equivalent. They don't have exactly the same terms. Two of the three terms are the same, but all we really need is one to be different, and the expressions will not be equivalent. And that's the end of the lesson.